Callan Pinckney, and I'm delighted to introduce to you Quick Callanetics. It is one in a series of three programs that I have designed after receiving thousands of letters from people like you who want quick results but have very little time to achieve them. This new video is designed to improve a problem area that we all have, the stomach. And it will only take a quick 20 minutes. You'll see and feel extremely fast results because these exercises are both powerful and very effective. They are so gentle that they are truly no impact and are not harmful to your back or any part of your body. Now, let's begin. Now, to loosen up your body and stretch your spine, feet hip width apart, stretch your torso up two inches more than you think you can, bend the knees, take the arms back, the buttocks goes up, come back up, curling the pelvis up, down, curl back up, stretch up to the sky, relax your feet, curl, relax your neck, your shoulders, your body is a rag doll. One more. Now stretch more than you think you can. Next is the waist stretch. To stretch your waist, get it tighter, and to stretch your spine, loosen up your back. Put your right hand up to the sky as high as you can. Your left hand is just below your left hip, or you can put it lower if you wish. Elbow out to the side, bend your knees a little bit, tighten the buttocks, curl the pelvis up to stretch your spine, not to put any pressure on it. Stretch up even more, relax your shoulders, go over to the side as far as you can without forcing. From there, you just do one fourth to one half of an inch motion, no more. No jerking, relax your shoulders, relax your neck. Do not lock your knees, keep them relaxed. When you become more stretched and you know how not to lock your knees, you can stand with your legs perfectly straight and the legs will be relaxed and your knees will be relaxed. Relax your feet. Relax your entire body. For those who have a sway back, you can bend a little bit, take your arm to the front, and bend back and forth from this position. When you get stronger, more stretched, you'll be able to do this. Now we're coming out of it, bend your knees, stretch the arm out in front of you as far as you can, so you don't put pressure on your lower back. Over to the other side to come up, tighten the buttocks, curl the pelvis up, and now you're ready to start the other side. Stretch up, stretch up more than you think you can. Bend the knees a little, tighten the buttocks, curl the pelvis up, and gently back and forth, one fourth to one half, no more. When you become more stretched, you can actually feel your leotard or whatever you're exercising in rising up on your leg. If you feel it's more comfortable to put the hand here, put your hand there. Relax your feet, your knees, your shoulders, your neck, and stretch that arm out. Feel the wonderful stretch in your waist. Bend, stretch the arm out, stretch in front of you, tighten the buttocks, and roll up. Next, 
feet hip width apart. Take the arms out even with the shoulders. Take the wrist and slowly twist them over to where the thumbs are facing the ceiling. Bend the knees, tighten the buttocks, curl the pelvis up as much as you can. Take your shoulders up to stretch your spine. Take the arms back, which will drop the shoulders, and the gently one fourth to one half of an inch motion, no more. Keep your pelvis up to stretch your spine. Now gravity is going to start dropping the arms down. You have to try to keep them up as high as you can to get your underarms tight and to stretch the spine more. Now try to turn the wrist over more. It's a little difficult, but you'll do it. Keep your head and shoulders back. This loosens between the shoulder blades to prepare you for your stomach exercises. Eventually, most of you will be able to straighten the arms. Still keep the arms up as high as you can. Take them up even higher. Now, to come out, just gently bend your elbows in triple slow motion. <laughs> You have no choice, <laughs> and that's it. To loosen up your fragile neck, stand with your feet hip-width apart, relax your shoulders, bend your knees. Now gently take your chin down to your chest. Slowly take your chin over to the right shoulder. Now take it up towards the ceiling, at the same time stretching the back of the neck up. Bring it down to your shoulder. Bring it down to your chest again. Over to the other shoulder. Stretch it up. Stretch the back of the neck up. Gently down again. Down. Over. Up. Stretch the back of the neck. Down. Relax your shoulders. Your body should just be like a rag doll. Let everything totally relax and let go of your neck and your shoulders. This neck relaxer prepares your neck for the strong, gentle stretch it will feel during the stomach exercises. No jerking. Now we're going to go to the next one. Stand erect again, just relax your body. Stretch your neck up, let your shoulders drop to the floor. Slowly take your head over to the right shoulder, trying to look in back of you. Now slowly bring it to the front again. Take it over to the other side. Try to stretch in back of you. Again to the front. Now let your shoulders relax even more. Let go of your feet. Your body is a rag doll. Remember to stretch the back of your neck up. One more time. Stretch up even more. Lovely, beautiful feeling. Lie on the floor, feet hip width apart, your knees aimed towards the sky. Relax your shoulders, your hands are at your side. Now grab hold of your inner thighs, not gently, but really grab hold. Take your elbows out to the side. Take your elbows up towards the sky. Now slowly start rounding your head up and your shoulders and grab hold of your inner thighs even more. Round your elbows out and up even more. Aim your nose in towards your rib cage. When you feel you can't round anymore, take the hands away, a foot off the floor, and just gently one-fourth to one-half of an inch motion back and forth. Do not jerk. Do not move your body back and forth like this. 
Do not move your neck back and forth. No jerking whatsoever, especially of the neck. Do not tighten the stomach muscles. Do not tighten the buttocks muscles. Your body is a rag doll. Totally relaxed and just melting into the floor. If you feel pressure on your neck at first from tension, which we all have, take your hands in back, elbows out to the side, just gently. Let your head rest on your hands. When you feel you have to take a breather, just gently roll back down to the floor, vertebra by vertebra, but then you continue in your same starting position. If you feel you're trying to pull from your lower back, you just lift your feet off the floor an inch. Or if you're moving your body back and forth, you only take your feet off the floor. Now relax your body even more. Now gently go back down, vertebra by vertebra. You know you have been working your stomach muscles after this. Again, with your feet hip width apart on the floor, knees up, body relaxed, take the right leg up, aiming it towards the ceiling as much as you can. If you have to bend the knee, that's perfectly all right. Grab the back of the leg, take your elbows out as far as you can with your head still on the floor. Take the elbows up to stretch between your shoulder blades. Now gently round your head and torso up, taking the elbows out and up towards the ceiling and even more. When you feel that you can't round anymore, take your hands away, take the left leg out straight, a foot off the floor, Gently take your hands down. Do not move more than one-fourth to one-half of an inch. Back and forth. If you feel you need to take a breather, you can put your hands here. Take the elbows up, round your shoulders, and just breathe. When you're ready to continue, let go in that same position, and just back and forth again. Or you can just gently go down in triple slow motion, vertebra by vertebra. Take a breather, but you must always get back up in your original starting position. Again, if you feel it in back of your neck, you can put your hands back, let the neck rest on it, elbows up to the side. If you feel that you're trying to pull on your lower back, you can just ease down a little bit. If you feel it's too hard at the beginning, you can let this leg rest on the floor. And when that leg's ready, it will straighten. Now gently come out vertebra by vertebra. Again. You're going to take the left leg up, grab in back of your leg, take the elbows out, take them up towards the ceiling. Never get sloppy and bring your head and shoulders up first. Then you'll try, then you will put pressure on your lower back. Round your elbows out, up again as you're coming up. Try to round even more. It might hurt you at first between your shoulder blades. That's because you're very, very tight. Take the other leg out, hands a foot off the floor, and gently again. At first, you will probably be right here, and this is what you're going to want to do. Don't do that. Your stomach muscles are working very hard no matter what stage you're in. Gentleness is the key word. Work at your pace. Again, when you feel you want to take a breather, you can hold on like this and learn to relax your stomach, your buttocks, relax your entire body. When you feel that you're ready to continue, let go, put the hands here. At first, you're going to feel it in the back of your neck. That's very gently loosening up all your tension 
then after about the second or third time of doing it, you will feel it in the neck, right on the side. When you're first starting out and you take the leg up, do not bring the leg towards you like this. That does not allow you to round and stretch between your shoulder blades. Always keep the leg straight, then round and pull up. Now gently come out of it in triple slow motion. Take the knees up to the chest one at a time. Then slowly take the legs aiming up towards the sky. Grab on your outer thighs. Take your elbows out again as far as you can. Take them up as high as you can. Now slowly start rounding your head and shoulders, rounding to where your nose aims and towards your rib cage. Try to round even more. Take the hands away. Now just gently, again, one, fourth to one half of a pulse. If you feel it in your neck, remember you can put your hands in back. Let your head rest. Some people will have to bend their knees. That's fine. When you become more strong, more stretched, you will be able to straighten the legs. Your legs are like feathers. No bouncing, no forcing. When you get stronger, you will be able to take the legs down one half of an inch, no more. See if you can work from that. If that's fine and you're not putting pressure on your lower back and your stomach muscles are strong enough to handle your legs being lower, you go down a half an inch more, try from there. If you feel pressure on your lower back, that is your signal to come back up a half an inch, try it from there. If that's still too much, Bring them up a half an inch. You are in control. Your legs are like feathers. They have nothing to do with what you're doing. When you feel you have to take a breather, just grab hold of your outer thighs. Take a nice breather. Then continue. When you get strong, you will be able to take your legs down a half an inch at a time, like this. Eventually, you will be able to be here, and then you do your little pulse. Again, if that's too much, up half an inch, up half an inch, up half an inch. Now say that's fine for you. You work there. Now gently bend your knees and go down in triple slow motion and totally relax. Sit in back of a sofa or a heavy chair. You'll probably have to keep your hands like this. Make sure that your body's totally relaxed. Take the knees up to the chest as far as you can. Then scoot forward to get off the tailbone and to stretch the spine. Then you're going to take the legs up. This is what you will do at first. You're going to drop the legs down and then you're going to brush them back and forth on the floor. Everyone starts out like that at first, even big football players. So now we'll do it to show you what you're going to be aiming up to. Bring the knees up to the chest. Scoot forward again. Hold your chin down to stretch your spine. Take the legs up as high as you can. Back and forth, no forcing. When your stomach muscle becomes stronger, you'll be able to lift the legs higher. Height does not matter. Relaxing the legs does. Take a breather. When you're stronger, you'll be able to do four sets of five instead of two, like we're doing. In fact, you'll even be able to do more, believe it or not. Take the feet up again. Take the legs up, chin down. Open and close. Relax. Remember, if you feel it on your lower back, that means your stomach muscles are not strong enough to handle that height. Congratulations. You are now on your way to that perfect flat stomach you deserve. As an added benefit, you will also find that you have better posture and more energy throughout the day because you have taken the time to do something wonderful for yourself. 
If you want the same quick workout for other common problem areas, there are two more 20 minute tapes, one for the legs and one for the hips and behind. Not only will you be thrilled with the way you look as a result of these exercises, but you'll love the way you feel.